What is going on, Stallions and Stallionettes? Welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I'm your host, AK40 Kevin. In my opinion, Destiny 2 is actually a very, very good game to stream. Looking at the numbers alone, it has generally around 28,000 to 32,000 viewers on Twitch each day. That's enough viewers that you can actually build a pretty solid community of people that enjoy watching that game as long as you're entertaining and have something else to offer besides the existing Destiny 2 streamers. But it's not super oversaturated like something like Fortnite or Warzone or just chatting. So I just sold you on it and now you want to start streaming or screen recording Destiny 2 for YouTube videos. However, it's not quite that simple. In fact, out of all the games that I have either live streamed or made YouTube screen recordings of, it's actually the most complicated because Bungie decided to opt out of support for full screen screen recording. Does this mean you need to build a new PC, sell your house, put your dog up for adoption? Not quite. I'm going to play a little segment from my live stream last night, which, by the way, I didn't see you there. I was looking. Front row of the bleachers. Didn't see you there. I'm going to go over some settings inside of Streamlabs OBS. These will be virtually identical to OBS as Streamlabs OBS is literally just open broadcaster uh, software with another layer of plugins and add-ons over it. And these will also apply to XSplit Broadcaster, Twitch Studio, or any other kind of screen recording slash live streaming platform. Let's get this thing. In Streamlabs OBS, you cannot use game capture. So if I come over here to my gameplay tab where you can't see anything, you cannot use game capture, which is this source right here, which is generally what you want to use for games because it is much, much less resource intensive. You have to use display capture. Now, granted, if you have a mid range to higher end PC, it won't be an issue, but there are some settings that you need to change. Now on display capture here, if we double click, you can leave it on automatic or if you're running Windows 10, you can select this. However, um, Streamlabs OBS is a smart enough program to differentiate what operating system you're running and it will automatically select Windows 10 if that's what you have and then select your primary monitor. Capture cursor will not matter when you're running a game. That's more so for like right now you can see my cursor if I'm doing a tutorial where I'm maneuvering around Windows 10. And also another little interesting tidbit, you cannot press Windows and get out of Destiny 2. You have to Alt Tab, which is kind of weird. At first, I thought that was the menu music for Destiny. I was like, well, what a majestic soundtrack. No, nope, that's that's my Streamlab sounds. There we go. Game settings. So you're going to come over here to video. Obviously, you want to have your native resolution and native refresh rate selected. Now, one of the things that you can do if you are getting dropped frames inside of Streamlabs OBS is set a manual frame rate cap. Now, I do have uh, FreeSync. So if you have G-Sync, FreeSync or V-Sync, which seem to work pretty well in Destiny, they do not work well in Warzone, Call of Duty Cold War, or Modern Warfare. You need to set a manual frame rate cap of, you know, 144, 165, whatever your monitor's native refresh rate is. And that will definitely save you from dropping frames inside of your actual screen recording. But the important settings that we need to change here, not brightness, what we're first going to do here is come down here and turn off HDR. High dynamic range works incredibly wonky in this game. It does not look good and it makes your screen recording look very non-representative of what you see on your monitor. Like it looked wonky on my screen, but totally playable. Then I watched back my stream and I was like, oh God, this is what people were looking at for like two hours, Jesus Christ. And people were just kind enough to not really bust my balls over it. I think one or two people were like, what's up with the game? It looks kind of weird. And you know, I was looking up, I didn't see any drop frames or anything in Streamlabs. So I'm like, it's fine. You're just being a, you know, a, a little ninny nanny, but Indeed, you want to turn HDR off because it makes your screen look like it has a sunburn. Everything looks a little bit off hue. All the colors don't look very rich, vibrant, or natural. Chromat chromatic aberration, I would turn this off. This isn't going to mess up your screen recording or your stream, but what chromatic aberration does is puts a little bit of blur around the outside of the, sc the screen, which simulates basically a camera lens, how everything would be slightly out of uh, focus on the outside. I don't like that. I turn that off in all games. Film grain, not only looks cosmetically unappealing, but on screen recording or stream, it will look bad. So turn that off as well. I also recommend turning off motion blur. It takes up resources on your GPU for no reason. It actually looks poor and it, it it's more resource intensive than it needs to be. Wind impulse, you can turn this off as well. I leave it on. It doesn't really affect anything for me. Those are the settings primarily that you need to change. Uh, if you do want to run game capture, vice running display capture, you will not be able to run full screen because for some reason, Bungie actually disabled that feature. There's an article about it on their support page on their website saying 
we don't support, and it blatantly says OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit Broadcaster, basically all the programs that you would use to run a stream or screen record for YouTube. So what you can do is put this into a borderless window or windowed full screen, but that has a bunch of restrictions to it. First of all, you can't really look up in the game because it'll go up to your second monitor, not to mention it's basically running other programs in the background. It's not engaging Windows 10's natural game mode, which basically minimizes all processes in the background, optimizes your RAM to focus on the game. Uh, when you're not running full screen, it's running a bunch of stuff in the background. So that is not ideal. I would recommend just using display capture. And again, um, if you have a mid to high end PC, it's not going to be terribly detrimental to your PC. If you are losing frames, what I would recommend is tapering back on some of your settings here or going inside of your Streamlabs OBS. And if you're screen recording, uh, setting your CQP rate down a little bit, or if you are uh, streaming, maybe try 720p vice 1080p. So that is how you're going to make Destiny 2 look decent while you're playing. All right, I'm going to hit up the boys in Discord and we're going to hop into a game because I'm ready to get to snap aiming here, Stallions. <laughs> 